everybody, welcome to SICW Wrestling Explosion. I'm Drew Abenhaus, and today we've got two special matches for you. First of all, it's tag team action as two St. Louis legends, the Night Train Gary Jackson and Moondog Rover, team up to take on two rough and tough individuals in the Big Texan and Mahler McDarby. And then the 285-pound Big Country Clint Poe goes one-on-one -on -one with Belleville, Illinois' own Bobby D. So fans, strap into your seats and don't go away. The action begins right after these special messages. From the World Series champion Tigers in 45 to the Gateway Grizzlies to the 03 State Tournament Belleville East Lancers. A tradition in baseball and an even longer tradition in fine furniture and service. Miller Furniture, 1004 East Main in Belleville. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is an added attraction. It is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Dallas, Texas. He weighs in tonight at 285 pounds, the Big Texan. His tag team partner from Dogtown, St. Louis, Missouri. He weighs 220 pounds, representing the professionals, Mauler McDarby. And their opponents, introducing first from the STL. He weighs in at 220 pounds. He is the night train, Gary Jackson. His tag team partner, from the swamps of Louisiana, weighing in at 274 pounds, Moon Dog Rovers. Your referee is Jay King. Well, fans, here we are, back tag team action on Wrestling Explosion, and what a Kind of a strange combination between Moondog Rover and the gorgeous one, the Night Train, as he's been called over the years, Gary Jackson. And Ricky, you know both of them. I know both of them. There's so much experience right now in the ring. It's it's amazing to get to see two guys like these two legends in the in the St. Louis scene get in the ring and tag team against these two young lions. Exactly. And then when you look across there, you look at the likes of the big guy, the big Texan who. We almost can't call the Big Texan anymore. He's he really slimmed Texan. down. But you've had some brawls with him over the years. Yeah, really tough guy, really strong, naturally strong. Is He doesn't look like a 300-pounder, but he can hit like one, I'll tell you that much. Well, and his tag team partner is somebody you were talking about a little earlier, and we're going to see him in action right here now. And uh, He seems to have a, a little voice to himself. McCarthy, tremendous wrestler. Really well round, but he's doing something that he shouldn't do it is run his mouth, especially to someone with the experience like Gary Jackson. So you can see Gary Jackson is concentrated, he's focused, he's just waiting for the moment. Well, and it's Gary that finds himself on the canvas with that big body slam. But see what I'm saying? He's not losing his school. He's not getting, you know, he's not letting him get in his head. Gary Jackson knows that uh, McDarby is uh, taking the best part right now, but he's just waiting for the moment. It's it's just like Gary. Well, and I think this Mc oh Here nice we go. arm drag. I told you he was just waiting. Oh yeah. And just that quick, that's how it, the tide turns. Tremendous body slam by Gary Jackson. McDarby finds himself outside being consoled by the big Texan and fans. That's the action you're going to see when we return here on Saturday, January the 20th, as we start 2018 off. We want to thank all of you who are watching us on your local cable access channel. We uh, encourage you to come out anywhere you see the SICW banner because there's nothing like seeing the shows live. There's People don't understand the difference. You know, you can see the show. I know everybody enjoys the show. Everybody loves, you know, wrestling, uh, watching it on TV. But there's so much that you can experience when you come live. 
it's so much so much more exciting so it's it's something that you can't really explain nothing like being live in one of the shows for face icd well and what's really good is you know it's a family oriented type entertainment you know if you look around the audience you see youngsters you see uh, us older people here uh it, it's really great to come out for a couple of hours and just let your hair down and root for the the good guys, boo the bad guys, or whatever you want to do. But right now, a nice shoulder tackle on McDarby. And as you said, that's the experience paying off of a guy like Gary Jackson. That's one thing the SICW has that nobody else has. We can literally say 100% this is a family show. This is a this is a show that you're going to see grandpa, you're going to see grandson, you're going to see everybody can come to SICW jo, uh, uh, show. And, and we have talent for all the different eras biting the arm this is what people love about the dog and look at mccarby running to the corner like get him off me get him off me yeah it's like he's got some big old vicious uh, dog on him and he does uh, do you think he got all his shots well i don't know you know usually when i try to talk to him i get a grunt or a groan uh he doesn't say a lot but uh, the, the you know the moon dog's been around a long time the family of the moon dogs from the swamps of louisiana it's incredible. I was just asking you before this match started. I saw him walking out with that bone that he's always carrying. How old do you think that bone is? Man, I I, I want to know what kind of uh, carcass that bone came off of. That, that's that's a good question too. Well, think that's, what cow? I, that's what I was telling you when we had Abdullah the Butcher here earlier uh, this, later this, earlier this year. Uh, Abdullah got involved with the Moon Dog and uh, they were chewing on that bone together. And Abdullah said. That was the nastiest smelling bone, and he's ate some bones and meats off of bones. <laughs> I've seen Abdullah eat raw meat yeah. in, front, in front of people. Oh, my God. Well, you know, and that's what you were talking about earlier, Ricky. You know, in your career, being in Puerto Rico and where all the other places that you've wrestled, you've ran across the, the Abdullah the Butchers, uh, uh, Terry Funks, and, and, you know, people like that. Um, wrestling has come a long, long way. And here at SICW, you know, what we're trying to do is preserve a lot of that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know of anybody else out there that's doing it. I, I don't think there's anyone not trying to do it. I don't think there's anyone that can do it. Uh, the, the, it's not only because of SICW. It's just San Luis has such a rich history when it comes to wrestling. There's no other place he can say that uh, and, and, and still have it. Because, yes, in New York, there was wrestling all the time. There was territories in Florida. There was... but. Having this same style, this old school feeling to wrestling, I don't think there's nowhere right now in the States that can do this. No. Oh, a big boot by the big Texan on the Gary Jackson account of two. That, that's the difference between Gary and Texan. Texas is a big guy. He got a really good move there, a really big boot to the face, but he covered him on arm. You're not going to get the win on Gary Jackson just covering like that. Well, and you know, uh, Ricky, talking about the, the history of SICW, when you look at the locker room now and what it's been for several, several years now, back when you were actively in the ring, I mean, when you, I remember when you came on the scene, that escalated SICW. You know, we, 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 we turned the notch up a little bit. You brought a style that uh, we were lacking. But even as you look back now, you know, Flash Flanagan in the locker room, this, this uh, big Mark Houston, a big guy, a uh, big Clint Poe, big Texan. You know, you, you've been around a lot of independent locker rooms, and i got to say something else that we can brag about. We've got some of the biggest men in the sport today. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, and nothing against the smaller guys. Everybody has a place in it, but when you want to see the big boys in action, this is where they come to. Definitely. And and, and I was just going to say, not only the big guys, but you see guys like, like Sean Vincent, like Curtis Wilde, that they has that old feeling, old school feeling wrestling. You're not gonna see guys just jumping around and moving like like tennis ball all over the ring. You're gonna see real wrestling when you come to SICW. But talking about the locker room, it's impressive how much talent you have right now. When I got here uh, to the scene, you know, in the locker room, you had so many big brawlers. You know, you talk about Ron Powers, you talk about Gary Jackson, where the big boys, the big, you know, the the, the guys to beat in the locker room. Now it's hard to tell who's the top guy. There's so many good so many. talents, so many great, great uh, uh, wrestlers right now that you can't pick one that it's not. I mean, apart from whoever's the champion, sure. But but you know what I mean. It's it's such talented group right now. Well, it's you know, incredible. You yeah, you talk about the the icon Chris Hargis, the champion, SICW champion, the Iron Man Ken Casa. You know these are these are the real deal. 
These are the guys that go out there and do a 60-minute match standing on their head. Uh, so it, it's really impressive, and we pride ourselves in that. And if you take and add up all the years of experience, the guys like Gary Jackson, uh, Moondog Rover, Sean Vincent in his 19th year in the business, uh, people like that. Uh, I mean, you add all that time, and then, of course, you take the, the benefit that we have of a Larry Matasek being in the dressing room. You add all those years together, it's impressive. And all the people around, you know, not uh, uh, you just said it, having Larry Matasek around, having... Uh, and I'm not, and I'm, I, I'm not gonna. I shouldn't even say this, but people like Travis Cook, with even when I don't like him, and I don't like how he is, in my opinion, he he's gonna go in history in St. Louis like one of the best uh, managers in wrestling. If, I hate to say it, but it's the truth, and, and I gotta give him his props on that. Um, uh, there's so, uh, big, big Daddy, Big Daddy, Big Daddy, and so much um, knowledge, knowledge, so yeah. much experience in in, in what re wrestling should be and what it really is. That, that's what makes SICW special. Exactly. And then you got action like this. This McDarby guy really impressing me here. He's winding it up like Gary says, and he's dropping it hot. I don't know if he's doing that as a little dropping, insult. <laughs> dropping it like it's hot. Yeah, that's what Gary says. I mean, uh, yep, yep. he may be taunting him just a little bit here. And you have a lot of young veterans. And I mean young veterans because they're still young, but they, they've been in wrestling for a long time. You just mentioned Shum Vincent. You're, you're talking about Texan who now, um, even though he's been in wrestling for a couple of years now, he's, he's looking better than ever in the best wrestling uh, uh, physique and, and stamina that ever he, he has been. You got guys that are coming up like uh, Keith Jr., 6'5", 250 sure. pounds. You know, uh, you know they're going to go far. Hargis, another young veteran. Ken Casa, another young veteran. There's so much talent right now. Oh, yeah. It's a shame I retired, man. It's a good time for wrestling. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think you're doing the right job. <laughs> you know, the big troll. I yeah. mean, there's a guy 400 plus pounds. Yes. When he gets in there, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So, yes, we have a locker room that uh, we're proud of, and uh, they come out here and give the fans 110%, just like this match is right here. And they'll be doing that again on Saturday night, January the 20th, when we kick off the new year right here at East Cronlet. Stay tuned to our social media page and make sure you tune in every Sunday like you are today on your local cable access channel and watch SICW Wrestling Explosion because this is where you will see the best in professional wrestling as McDarby works on the Moondog in the middle of that squared circle. And, and Ricky, I, we did a little post-interview earlier, uh, pre-interview of when Drew, uh, Dr. Drew asked you if you ever get that itch. I mean... I got to say, I didn't even see the glimmer in your eye. I think you're comfortable behind the mic. I'm, I'm good. I'm good where I am. I, I, I get to come to the shows. I get to enjoy the reaction of the fans. I get to talk to the fans, which is, you, as you know me, it was one of the biggest things for me, coming and spend time with the fans before or after the show. Uh, I do miss the, the crowd chanting my name, but I don't miss getting slammed <laughs> like he just did right there. Oh, no. Well, and, you know, and when you think back, you and Ron Powers, you and Flash Flanagan, you had some battles in that circle, in that, in that ring. Yeah, um, um, I had great matches that I'm going to remember forever here in SICW. Every time that I wrestled Casa was a great match for me. Every time that I wrestled uh, uh, Gary Jackson, um, there's been so, much, so many great matches that I'm going to remember from here. Um, the, when I finally got my hands on Ron Power after he left me bloody in this ring, that they spend like a week trying to get all the blood out of this building because of me. It was like a, it was it was something that we hadn't seen in a long time. In fact, it was kind of a shock to some of the fans. Uh, that, I'll never forget that man. We got action outside. We got Gary Jackson working on McDarby inside the ring. I think they're the legal men. At least that's the indication I'm getting from Jay King. Jackson off of the rope. Oh, McDarby catches a foot, trips him up, and what's he going to do? He's trying to set him up for something here, Ricky. Let's see, he's grabbing the legs. Let's see what he's gonna go for. Oh, look, he got him in a little package. One, two, three. There you have it, Gary Jackson with the inside type cradle. I thought Darby was setting him up for some type of sharpshooter or Boston Crab. But Gary Jackson using that experience and wrapped him up in a small package as you see Moondog. And the Texans still going at it outside. Jay King now going out to try to break them up. 
We're going to get some order restored here. Let's go up to the ringside, and we'll get the announcement right, through. Ladies and gentlemen, amidst the chaos, at 12 minutes and 4 seconds, your winners be a pinfall on Moondog Rover and the Night Train, Gary Jackson. Special message for schools, clubs, and all civic groups. School athletic departments, police and fire departments, or any charitable organization. Raise funds for your group. Bring the stars, thrills, and excitement of SICW to your community for a fun night of family-friendly action. For more information, contact SICW at 618-286-4848 or visit us on Facebook at SICW Wrestling Explosion. It's a New Year wrestling explosion as SICW returns to the East Carondelet Community Center. Saturday night, January the 20th, doors open at 6, bell time at 7 p.m. In your main event, Tag Team Dynamite, as Flash Flanagan and the Iron Man Ken Casa team up to take on Big Country Clint Poe and Cowboy Mark Houston. Plus, icon Chris Hargis takes on Heath Hatton one-on-one -on -one and many other matches. Reserve your seats at 618-286-48. Four eight. Add on in the white suit coat, none other than Big Daddy, the infamous Big Daddy, who for many, many years, and I'm talking about back in the early 80s when I first met him, has been a thorn in my side. If you ever talk about having two thorns on your side, you got to think about this. I got Travis Cook and I got Big Daddy. I don't, I don't even want to imagine what goes through your head whenever you put these shows together and you got to think that you have to see these two guys coming in. Let me ask you a thing. Let me ask you one thing. How many suits do you think this guy owns? I have no idea, but he he has been that way. And I also know that at one time back in 1987, he had a pair of boxer shorts on that had hearts on them. Say and what? You may say, Herb, how did you know that? I saw Bruiser Brody in Belleville, Illinois at the fairgrounds take his pants, tear his pants off of him, and he had a pair of boxer shorts on which had two red hearts on the uh, the back of him. <laughs> so he's got a wardrobe out of this world, but that's how long Big Daddy has been doing this business, and he's been very successful at it, and uh, he's he's managed some of the biggest in the business, the giant assassin, dump truck Dave Perry, uh, guys who back in the day uh, just – entertain the fans of st louis and to think he's still out here doing it it's incredible and he's a good manager like he he does what he needs to do the crowd he keeps the attention from the crowd um you know yes he's he cheats sometimes and yes he helps his guys cheat but he, if he's doing it for so long it's because he's good at it yes he is and let's talk about these contestants here the big man in the black big country clint poe and one of those big men we were talking about in the locker room but he's going against this young, uh, not young, but a uh, Bobby D who can wrestle, he can brawl, uh, has an amateur wrestling background, and uh, he's going to have his work cut out now. Look at that big fist uh, delivered by big country Clint Poe, and uh, this is going to be another one of those ones that I think is uh, Bobby's going to say, I signed up for it, I'm not so sure if I should have. That's, that's one thing about Bobby. He, he puts himself in a position that he shouldn't, but he never say quit. He's always here to perform. He's always here to wrestle. And he's not scared of anyone. And I don't know if that's smart of him or, as you can see, not that smart of him. Oh, wow. Well. But, you know, I guess I got to say that about 99% of the guys that I've worked with, I mean, they do this for, you know, they love the business. They're out here uh, doing their job. Look at them chops. Oh, now maybe it's Clint Poe saying, what did I sign up for? I'm telling you, big uh, uh, Bobby D. He's 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 trying to do whatever he can to get Big uh, Big Poe. Let me tell you, this guy Big Poe. I I don't know what I see in him, but I know he's gonna be someone in wrestling. He's definitely gonna go far. He reminds me of when I met uh, Fla uh, Flash Flanagan. Um, that same mentality, that same you know ag aggressive, that same. Um, emphasis on doing what whatever is needed to win you know and plus he's a big like he says big country he's tough he's strong so this guy could go far big daddy you'll find he is never at a loss for words uh, it concerns me a little bit when he says you're taking pictures of my man yeah <laughs> i understand that 
See what I mean? Not only he managed, but he cheats too. That's that's the one thing I don't like about Beat Daddy. Tremendous pressure. The referee trying to get him out, but Bobby D's not having fun right now, let me tell you. No, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't want to be there. I'm glad we're sitting here at ringside. See what I mean? This guy is always in, never in the last four. Tremendous comeback here. Uh, Bobby D was trying to come back and fight back and get the fans excited, but Poe too strong, too agile. Well, and we were talking about that earlier. You know, he's one of the big men in the locker room, and uh, he is showing it here tonight that he's here not to take any prisoners. And ever since he's came on the scene of SICW, he's been trying to make a name for himself, and he's showing it here tonight. Yeah, definitely. He's not giving the chance to, to Bobby D, not a breather. Yes, we don't like it, but it's, just the, it's the smart thing to do. That's how you win matches. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him rest. Keep him on the ground. He's being smart about what he's doing. And that big right hand, I'll tell you. And there, and there you see Big Daddy never, ever lost for words. He's over there giving the fan his, uh, that far and trying to tell Drew he don't know what he's doing. But, oh, look at this. Up on the shoulder, Bobby slides down the back, comes off. Whoa. Ducks under a second time. Oh, he's got him. This could be. Whoa. Just that quick. Bobby D is changing it up here. Here he comes. Tremendous clothesline to the ground. He goes quick for the pin. One. Only one. Only a one count. How strong is this bow? Uh oh. Oh, he caught him. Whoa. Just that quick, he came over that top rope. Oh, from behind, watch Big Daddy. I think that's why Bobby D slowed down in midair. He saw Big Daddy standing out there at ringside. And he caught that top rope. Comes high risk move, and like I said, that's why they call it high risk. Now he's paying for it. Bo has him. Oh, tremendous oh, power slam. What a power slam. He's saying one more. Oh, no, that's it. He needs to cover him. He needs to cover him. Oh, no. Up in the... Oh, look at this. This is not easy to pick up Bobby D like this. Tremendous power slam. He goes again. One, two, three. Wow. Man, oh, man. What an impressive win. Over Bobby D. He remind me of the British Bulldog with that power slam. Well, fans, there's the official announcement for Dr. Drew. Whether you like it or not, Big Country is going to get the win column here tonight. Affordable family fun. Baseball excitement at its purest. Enjoy the Gateway Grizzlies in person at the remarkable GCS Stadium just off Route 255 at Mooset Lane. The Grizzlies have a hustling, exciting team. A roster loaded with talent is aiming for a championship. The GCS Stadium is a cozy facility packed with boundless energy. Special promotions are plentiful. The concessions are superb and the price is right. For more information, go to gatewaygrizzlies.com. Don't miss out. Be part of the fun. The Gateway Grizzlies at the GCS stadium it's a new year wrestling explosion as SICW returns to the East Carondelet Community Center Saturday night January the 20th doors open at 6 bell time at 7 p.m. in your main event tag team dynamite as Flash Flanagan and the Iron Man Ken Casa team up to take on big country Clint Poe and cowboy Mark Houston plus icon Chris Hargis takes on Heath Hatton one-on-one -on -one and many other matches reserve your seats at 618-286-48 for it. It's getting cold in St. Louis this one harsh time. It's getting really cold, so I have to wear my nice fur. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Them two guys, that Flash Flanagan, that 
Tony Costa's uncle, cousin, whatever his name is, they've been getting on my nerves for a long time. And it's time that they get their butts whipped. Now's the time. January 20th, I got the boys ready together. These two guys are now the most awesome tag team that the SICW has ever seen, and I mean ever. I got Mark Houston, I got Clint Poe, and these guys don't play no games. Everybody's going, well, where'd they come from? Where'd they come from? Tell them about it, Clint, tell them. That's right, Big Daddy. You see, you might know me as Big Country, and this my brother as the cowboy, but what you people don't know is we played you like a cheap piano. They can't see, help it. they're stupid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can't see, help it. we've been busting heads all over the U.S., all over Canada, and all over the towns and cities in between. Cause we together are the Axemen. Tell them, Houston. For one year, I've been out there looking for that fight. I've had the fights. My brother Clint, he's looking for that fight too. And now we found it. And now we're gonna be the most dominant. Team here, we're gonna run through the SICW locker room. We're gonna lay waste to them all, starting with Flash and Casa. That's right, Houston. Because if you get in our way, we are gonna chew you up and spit you out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Axemen have arrived. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Farm music and fun, the place to party is Pop's nightclub and concert venue in Soje. From Bruno Mars of the first U.S. tour of Nickelback to Flogging Molly of the Insane Clown Posse, 30 years of memories pack Pop's concert venue with more made at every new show. And there's a party at Pop's nightclub every night, a melting pot of friends enjoy the best in dance, rock, pop, and top 40 music until 5.30 a.m. Plus add a full game room. Check out all the action at PopsRocks.com. Then and now, the place to party is Pop's in Soje. OJ. Folks, thanks for joining us for another tremendous episode of Wrestling Explosion. It was the Night Train Gary Jackson and Moondog Rover picking up the victory over Big Texan and Mahler McDarby. Plus, Big Country Clint Poe, now under the tutelage of Big Daddy, picking up the win over Bobby D. Can Clint Poe and Mark Houston be victorious against Flash Flanagan and Ken Casa? Join us in the East Carondelet Community Center January the 20th to find out, and join us right here each and every week on Charter Spectrum Cable and on the Fight TV app for more great wrestling action. I'm Drew Abenhaus. We'll see you right here next week on SICW Wrestling Explosion. Over there on the other side, the dog and the Texan, referee Jay King. I don't know if I'd want to get in between them two nope. guys. I'm sitting right here. I'm telling you. Jay King finally getting them broke apart. They really don't like each other. You Man. can sense it. The dog is trying and, to get yeah. back to Texas. Oh, oh. He just throws Jay King out of the way. And the tax Texan not backing down. They're still going at it. <laughs>